Hello there, uh, welcome to the EMS grade 9. Uh, in this video, uh, we want to look at the preparation of the trial balance. And there are, this is question 6 of that question paper. Uh, the paper uh, maybe you can start by uh, defining what we mean by a trial balance. Remember, a trial balance shows a list of balances of what uh, balances that will be having uh, in the ledger accounts. So after preparing our ledger accounts, we uh, I make our balances and then we transfer those balances to the trial balance. So I that list will be in the trial balance. So we are going to have a debit side and the credit side. That is a debit column and credit column in the trial balance. So basically, what we have to know is that the total of the debit side should be the same with the total of the credit side. They should be equal. To say that the trial balance is balanced. And this is an indication that there is no mistake that has been made in the ledger account. If there's any mistake in terms of arithmetical accuracy, in terms of an adding and subtracting, and also um, on the uh, on not abiding by the double entry uh, principle, whereby we are debiting and debiting, but but not debiting and making a corresponding entry of crediting, the trial balance will not balance. That will be detected uh, by the uh, trial balance. So trial balance also comes uh, as a check uh, to check any mistakes or uh, that has been made uh, in the ledger accounts. So uh, this is what we have in terms of a trial balance. So uh, we are we are we are given our question. So if we go back to our question uh, to try to see what is our question saying, you can be able to see that this is our question that we have. This question says, "I trace the bookkeeper of golf of golf stores uh, is in tunes and uh, the owner is asking you to assist him in drawing up the share of balance this business for the month of September 2023." Then I would have a part there that six point one. It uh, asks you to identify the missing every level A or the other sheet. So we are going to the other sheet and try to see what you have to have in terms of A. So if you come to our other sheet, uh, you will see that this is uh, the trial balance that you are given uh, in the answer book. And then we go down to see what does A say. Uh, if you come here, you see that this is our A. And up in the A, we put our sales, what are the uh, So uh, basically, we are going to have more expenses and income being listed under A. So remember, this uh, represents the nominal account section. So basically, we are saying, going to say nominal accounts uh, section. So this is the section that we have in terms of um, uh, the representation of more expenses, more income. And also, we are going to also have to have our sales or purchases are uh, being under the nominal account section. So, uh, we, we also have to know that above the nominal account section, there that's when we, when we are going to have our, our list of our assets and abilities and bonus equity, bonus equity being our capital. So, uh, there that's where we are going to have uh, all the balances there under the balance sheet accounts section. So, uh, we go there. Uh, and try to see uh, what we have in terms of the next question saying using the information provided below. It's um, uh, draw up the trial balance for the month in the September 2023. Some of the information has already been completed for you. So we've got some pre-ended uh, information that we have in our, in our trial balance that we're given in the answer form. So uh, we are just going to end up missing uh, information. But uh, basically, what you have to know uh, on the preparation of the trial balance, there are items that are normally found on the debit and uh, the others are normally found on the credit. So you see that uh, if we are having our trial balance like this, uh, we are going to have some items, obviously, that we are going to see on the debit and the credit. So this can be our trial balance, and we are saying trial balance. And uh, we have some items that are usually find on the debit side. For example, we have got assets. Uh, we find assets on the debit side. Uh, we've got current assets and non current assets, all of them, before they come to the debit side. And also, we have got our, our expenses. For example, uh, water and electricity, insurance, uh, and many more, they come on the debit side. So, expenses, all expenses come on the debit side. And also, we have got joints coming on the debit side. And also, we have got our purchases to come on the debit side. So, we have to take note of that. Now that these items we put them on the debit side. So remember, this is our debit side, uh, represented by GR meaning debit, and this is our credit side, uh, represented by CR meaning our credit. So uh, this is uh, what we have. But on the credit side, we are going to have all liabilities. Uh, we hit non uh, non current liabilities or current liabilities from them before uh, they come to the credit side. 
and then uh, also we have got income. For example, rent received is an income, uh, comes from the credit side, and also we have a capital, which is the bonus equity, comes also on the credit side, and also we have got sales coming on the credit side. So this is just a summary of uh, items that can find on the debit find on credit. So now when assets is just a broad name, we've got many assets that we can talk about. I remember assets are resources of the business, and then all uh, expenses, and then our uh, drawings, and then purchases. Then liabilities also we've got our uh, uh, many examples of liabilities that we have, uh, we've got current and non-current liabilities and income, we've got many examples of income that go. So we just have to identify if it's an income, we've got to identify if it's an expense, we've got to okay. So this is what we have. So uh, we go to the question now, we try to, uh, to answer the question. So we are given that information and we are given there. So we are just going to go through uh, the information and uh, pick each and every item and put it on the necessary uh, side. So if you come to our, our question, you see that the best item that we have is water and electricity. And water and electricity is an expense, and we are saying expenses come on the debit. So uh, we, we are supposed to see this on the debit. So if you come to the other section, you'll see that um, uh, if you go down, you'll see that water and electricity is pre-entered. Uh, it's, it's already on the debit side. Remember, this is our debit side. Uh, this is representing our debit, and this is representing our credit. So. Uh, for well, 2020 is on the debit, which is the correct side. We go there and see the next item. We put telephone. Telephone also is an expense, it's supposed to be on the debit side. So we come here. Uh, we see that telephone is not in that the under nominal account section. Remember, under nominal account section, we said that's where we are going to find all our expenses and income. So telephone becomes one of the expenses that we can put here. So we are saying um, a telephone. Uh, let's try to see, saying telephone here. Yeah. The amount that we are having there, we just going to try to check it. We got 1590. Then we go back to check the next item. After telephone, we have got our sales, and remember sales to save the credit side, we have got 20,500. So uh, we are just going to check there. We want the credit. So if you come here, you'll see that sales is pre entered here. So we are just going to leave it. It's on the credit side, it's the correct side. Come back. Uh, we have got equipment. Equipment is an asset, it's a non current asset. So all assets to save on the debit. So we've got equipment of 15,250 and check. Uh, you can find that one above the uh, account section below the balance uh, uh, account section. So equipment is 15,250 is pre ended on the debit side, which is the correct side. We leave it. Go to the next one. Uh, we have a rent income, it's an income it's supposed to be on the credit side. Yeah, we summarized there at the beginning of the video. So we've got 2,500 on the credit side as rent income. We come here. Uh, we are saying uh, rent income. We see that it's not pre ended so we're supposed to put it. We put rent income. And we're having an amount of 2,500 on the credit side. We go back to see the next item after rent income. Uh, we have cost of sales, 16,400. Remember, cost of sales, uh, it's, a, it's an expense also. Uh, so we're supposed to show it on the uh, debit side. So cost of sales, again, uh, we go to the debit side. Uh, we are saying sales, so cost of sales should just be this, uh, the sales figure that we have there. So we are saying cost of sales. Obviously, the amount you can go back to check the amount that we have. The cost of sales are uh, the amount that we are having there 16,400. So we are saying 16,400 for the debit. And we go again to check uh, the next item. And uh, after cost of sales, we put drawings and drawings. I remember uh, on our summary, we said drawings should be uh, on, the, uh, on the debit side. So if you come here, uh, summary that we have at the beginning of the question. Uh, we have got drawings in on the debit side, so we are just going to uh, put it on the 
for the temp side. So throwing the assay eight thousand seven hundred. And drawings, you are going to find it are, uh, you're going to find drawings above uh, the anomaly account section uh, below the balance sheet account section. It's, it should come just below the capital figure. So we are saying drawings, uh, which is 8,700. Then uh, we go and check again for the next item. So after drawings, uh, we have got capital, 72,000, but I, there is uh, a highlight that we are given there whereby they are saying it's C not below. So it means we have got an adjustment that we have in the, in the uh, note that is below. The following error was not corrected, and the owner increased this capital by 20,000 in March. This, uh, this, is, this was how he recorded 52,000. 52, so what does it mean? It means um, the uh, increase in capital was overstated. It was supposed to be 25,000, but a, a, a greater figure of 52,000 was, was uh, put. So it means we have to find uh, the difference and remove that excess. So what we are saying is we are going to say 52,000, but it has 25,000. So let's try to calculate it as such. Try to find what we get there. So you'd see that we, if you uh, subtract the 52 minus 25, 52,000 minus 25,000, uh, you are going to get your 27,000. So it means we added a greater figure by 27,000 uh, to figure for capital. So we have to remove this 24,000, uh, 27,000 that was uh, uh, subtract, subtracted, which was not supposed, to, which was added, sorry, it was not supposed to be added. So we subtract at 27,000 from the figure that we are given uh, in the list there. Is 72,000. So basically, we are saying we are going to say our 72,000 uh, subtract to 27,000. I calculate it as such. You see that we are going to get your uh, 45,000. So this is the amount that we are going to put for capital. And uh, I believe we have also have uh, the capital uh, there at the beginning of the flow uh, balance. So we are going to put our our. 45,000. Remember, this 45,000 is beyond the credit capital, it's always on the credit. So we're saying 45,000. Let me go back to the question to try to see what do we have. Uh, under capital, we've got big, and remember, big, it's, a, it's an asset uh, being a current asset in particular. So we are saying um, 12,400 will come on the debt side since all assets come on the debt side. So we're saying and uh, we have got a uh, bank, 4,480 is already there, pre entered is on the correct side. You can leave it. Then you go to creditors control, uh, 4,890. Remember, creditors control is a liability, uh, being, an, uh, sorry, being a current liability uh, in particular. So we have got uh, all liabilities being on credit side. So we have creditors control, 4,890. You're supposed to put it on the credit side. So we come here, uh, see that uh, we I don't have the figure for creditors control, so we can just add it here. Say creditors uh, control. And then our creditors control figure, and we've got 4,890. So it's saying on the credit side, 4,890. Right, so we go again to see if we've got any other figure that we're supposed to enter. We've got 30,550. And a trading stock is an asset, so obviously uh, it has to be on the debit side, and it's a current asset in particular. So we're saying uh, trading stock 2350 on the debit side. So we go there again to check if it's paid that or not. See that we, we are not seeing it, so it means we have to edit it here by saying trading trading stock. So the trading stock uh, figure that we have 2350, they're saying debit side 2350. So this is what we have. Remember, trading stock is our last item uh, that we have uh, in the list of balances that we are given. So we'll see that we have a trading stock here being the last item. So uh, we can now add our debit and credit. So what we are saying, uh, having, having entered all the, uh, what is supposed to be entered, uh, you are supposed to get what you are having on the debit and put the total here. What you have in credit and put the total here, the total should be the same so that uh, the trial balance is correct. So we are saying 
if you add the debit sites or what we're adding on the debit site, uh, you're supposed to get 72,890. And you add again, uh, the, what you have in one place, if you get the same figure, which is supposed to be 72,890. So this is what you guys are going to do this video. Those of you who have subscribed, please subscribe and see. Still coming with more videos. As for this video, I'm saving out to meet again.